Good afternoon, everyone. What a pleasure it is to be here. I want to thank uh, Natan Obed, president of ITK, for uh, uh, welcoming us to his home, uh, literally on his balcony, but also uh, to beautiful Echalwit. Uh, it's great to be back here. The last time here was during the campaign, and I was fortunate enough to have Sophie and my youngest son, Hadrian, along with me to experience this very special part of our country. Earlier today, I had the opportunity to meet with Natan and the board members of the Inuit Tapirit Kanatami. This meeting was part of the commitment I made in December to hold annual discussions with the leadership of the ITK, of the Assembly of First Nations and of the Métis Nation in order to identify priorities and co-develop policies. Today we established a historic new permanent bilateral process with the Inuit, an Inuit to Crown Partnership Committee. This new committee will meet once a year with me and several times throughout the year to identify and address the unique needs of the Inuit as identified by the community. I've often talked about the need for a renewed Inuit to Crown relationship based on recognition of rights, cooperation, respect and partnership. And I think this new process will do that by providing a whole of government forum where Canada can actively engage with the ITK and its governing members. Nous savons que beaucoup de travail nous attend et nous ne prétendrons pas avoir toutes les réponses. Pour produire des résultats concrets, nous avons besoin de l'aide et du savoir-faire des leaders inuits qui savent mieux que quiconque ce qui est le plus important pour leur communauté. Alors aujourd'hui, nous avons profité de cette rencontre pour tracer la voie à suivre. Working together in the spirit that guided the Kelowna Accord, we focused our discussions on land claims, social development, economic development, and other concrete steps to advance reconciliation efforts. And on that last note, I'm pleased to announce that our government will be taking concrete steps to address historical grievances, including the way federal, the federal government managed tuberculosis-infected patients during the 40s to 60s. How we deal with our past, no matter how painful, will determine our ability to heal together. And by taking action, we will shine a light on a dark chapter of our history, a chapter we must acknowledge and confront in order to move forward. This is a positive step along the road to true reconciliation. And as I have stated before, reconciliation isn't just an indigenous issue, it's a Canadian issue. Notre gouvernement est déterminé à renouveler et à renforcer la relation entre les Inuits et la Couronne, et les rencontres comme celle-ci contribueront à guider nos efforts et à faire état des progrès dans ces dossiers importants. 